Hey guys, it's Chloe and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working the abs, so let's just get into it. So this is going to be the warm up and I really wanted to focus on warming up the whole body and especially the core and so this is a great move to do that. So throughout the whole workout you're going to notice that I have mostly everything written out on the screen and I wanted to do that just so you guys can follow along with me. I am doing it real time so if you just want to copy exactly each move as I do it you can do that but I'm also going to have it written out so you guys can also take your time and go at your own pace. Now I know this seems kind of like a lot for a warm up, but it's really important to warm up all those muscles and really engage your core in this move. And I know it looks easy, but after doing 20, it's not so easy. So really focus on engaging that core. Okay, so now we're going to hold a plank and this is the last part of the warm up and this is really going to warm up your whole body. And I know doing a plank for one minute is really hard, but I want you guys to really focus and just follow with me. I'm straining through it too. If you notice, it does kind of look like my bottom is kind of high up in the air, but I really am focusing on engaging my core, sucking that stomach in, kind of like as if you would be flexing or something. So naturally, if I would bring my butt down a little bit, my back would start to arch and that means that my core would kind of give in. So I'm really trying to engage that core the whole time. Okay, so less than 10 seconds. You guys got it. Okay, so now we're getting right into the first circuit and this workout does involve two circuits and I did write on there to do them two to three times through, but I love adding all these moves at the end of any other workout and so usually I just do them once if I'm adding it, but if I just kind of want to do a full day of abs or just a quick full ab workout, then I like to do it two to three times through. So with every move, remember to engage your core and remember when you're laying on your back to keep your lower back pressed into the ground and don't let it rise up. On this move, try not to use your momentum to bring your legs up. Really try to engage those abs and bring your whole body up. So now we're getting right into circuit two, and I know it looks like this circuit has a lot more moves than the first one, but I just wrote out each side when we do it, so it does look like a bit more. I know this move can be really challenging, so to modify it, you can bring that other knee down, the one that you're not kicking back, and that can also help stabilize, and you're still going to feel it, I promise.
Okay, so I love this move and I tried to make as much room as I could for this because I am quite a bit long. But yes, I love this move because you get extra little booty burn on that stabilizing leg that's holding your whole body up, as well as an ab crunch. Keep going guys, you're doing great. So we just have a few moves left so really push through. Really focus on keeping that core engaged. So this is your last move, so don't take a break. Come on, you can do it. Push it. This is only 30 seconds. 30 seconds of this workout. You can do this. You are almost there. Ten seconds left. You got it. did it guys you're done awesome job thank you so much for working out with me do not forget to hydrate and make sure you also stretch after this workout bye guys see you soon